Hey guys, um, I want to show you guys how you can secure down a camper shell. Um, if you want to do it kind of half-assed, not do it the right way, or in, my, or in my case, the shell wasn't quite compatible. Um, in my case, the reason why the shell wasn't compatible with mine is because this shell is from an 83. Um, originally got it from an 81 two-wheel drive, got it from an 83 four-wheel drive. Um, you guys don't know Toyota's. Toyota changed the front axle to independent front suspension in 86. Uh, they may also made the rear axle a bit wider for, I don't know, for some reason. Um, and as a result of them making the rear axle wider, the, they made the bed wider. Well, just, and with the bed wider, the show doesn't quite fit on it as well. Uh, and for some other reason, it's a little bit longer too, I don't know why. Um, I don't really care. As a result of the bed being wider, um, these holes up here wouldn't line up with the bed underneath it. Um, they wouldn't line up with the bed underneath it because the shell was narrower than the bed in some places. See, there's a big gap right there, an even bigger one right here. I'll probably stick both my hands underneath there. So what I did was I went down to a um, local hardware store, um, got four C-clamps. I found two of them I could use. I've been using them now. Uh, spent $20 on some C-clamps um, to secure down the shell, and it's worked. It's been like that for a few months and nothing's happened. It makes it actually quite easy to get the shell off. Let me show you guys how secure it is. Set the camera down on some wood. Uh, there. As you guys can see it's very secure and it's not going anywhere. So, just something for you guys to think about if you ever want to do it this way. But I suggest do it the right way. The right way is to get drill holes in the shell and drill holes in the bed to secure it down with bolts. I did that with my primer truck, but like I said, I couldn't do it with this truck because there's, the shell's narrow. It's more narrow. And that won't quite work. One of these days, maybe I'll get a real shell for it. One made for this truck. Who knows? Well, guys. Hope that's any help to you guys. No, not a lot of you guys aren't Toyota people anymore. Ford people and Chevy people. And various things. Um, this camera picks up how beat up my bed is really bad. This truck's obviously been beating as soon as I took out the shell. Took out the. One more thing I had to do to get the shell to fit is I had to take the bed liner out. And to my surprise, when I took the bed liner out, that truck bed was all beat to hell. The reason I took the bed liner out was because the bed liner went all the way under the slip and I was not able to wouldn't be able to get bolts or seat clamps underneath it to secure it down. Well hope this video has any help to you guys. And over and out.